Hey, hope you're doing good. I'm Nivia and today I'm going to let you guys know about three ebook apps which are free. You do not have to pay a single penny in order to read books from these three apps. Last year, I did make a video on an ebook app which is still my favorite app and that is AnyBooks, AnyBooks app. When I made the video, it was free like uh, you didn't have to pay a single penny again to read books from that app. However, uh, later they made it into a paid app so you need to basically pay a lifetime subscription right now of 920 rupees in order to read any books from that particular app but still i think it's a nominal rate because you get to read any number of books like how much ever books you want you can read which is paying them 920 rupees it's a lifetime you know subscription so you do not have to pay again and again so that's a good deal but still if you do not want to pay that 900 rupees as well then these three apps are going to definitely help you all right so let's start with the first app the first app which i would like to recommend to you guys is a books library which is an amazing app with a great collection of books it has a lot a lot of books all for free and if in case you do not find the relevant book the particular book which you wanted to read you can contact them just message them anytime and then they generally revert in 24 hours and then they try their level best to bring that book for you considering it's a free app and still they're doing so much it's just so amazing so let me show you how exactly this app looks like and then we'll go to the second app okay so here it is so this is how the books library looks like as you can see the icon here so let me click on it and you can see the category available like for example if i click on the category it will show you the categories available here's if i want to see books related to history you can click on history and you would be able to find all the books related to history so let's go back and here you can contact them you can restore to your last reading if you want to you can also bookmark and then it would be available here so let me just type the book which i want to read for example let it be art of war okay i want to read art of war so i'm just typing in art of war and as you can see the search is so good that all books related to art you know the word art comes in here so because i want the first book the art of war i'm just clicking on the first option here and you can choose from these which is a book whichever you want to read you can click on it generally an advertisement would pop up when you click on it so you can see right now okay here it is the first ad comes so you can just close it if you're not interested in the ad okay so here i'm just closing it and the book is here now you can read it and the book is yours now the second app which i would like to recommend to you guys is a free books app this app's user interface is very much similar to that of kindle or any book so if in case you have used any books or kindle you would know how good the user interface is right and free books have been able to reach that mark in terms of user interface however the book collection is not that great when compared to kindle or even books library but considering that this app is also free it's just amazing so let me tell you this also that there are a few other apps like for example uh, wattpad or inkit they are all free ebook apps like wherein you can read books again for free but i personally do not like those apps like the collection or the user interface and the advertisements you know i basically do not enjoy reading uh, books from these apps like wattpad or inkit so i'm not recommending those apps to you so today i'm just recommending the apps which i like reading from so uh, hopefully you also enjoy reading books from these apps all right so let me show you quickly how free books app look like so this is how the free books app look like you can see the icon here and i'm going to click on it so these are the books available and if you know a particular book like if you want to read a particular book you can click on the search and type it or otherwise if you want horror books for example you can see all the books which are present in horror section here so if I want, for example, this book of Stephen King, Six Scary Stories, I'm clicking on it. And then as you can see here below, there is a download now section. You can click on it for downloading this book. And the book is all yours to read. It's that simple. The third and the last app which I would like to recommend to you guys is the English Stories app. This app is quite different from the first two apps because this is exclusively designed for children. So it's 
beneficial for the parents also who want to read out stories to their children it has a lot of short stories and children specific books so let me show you how this app looks like so this is how the english stories app look like you can see the icon here and i'm going to click on it and you can close this advertisement And as you can see, there are a lot of options available, short stories, moral stories, general, animal, inspirational, motivational, a lot. Okay, and let me go to funny stories. And you can see in funny stories, there are a lot of them. Okay, so let me choose change your vision and you can see the book is here for you to read. It's really good for children, in fact, because as you see the picture and all of it, it's just amazing. So these are the three free ebook apps which I love using. But unfortunately, they are not supported in iPhone or Apple. They're only supported in Android. Yeah, so that's it. So until we meet next time, this is Nivya signing off. Keep reading a lot of books. Bye. Take care. Happy reading.